Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is Linux Daily Tips, and um, I'm going to be showing you a screencast uh, recorder, which is really good, and um, it records really well, and um, the files are very small, so it's a very nice thing to use for Linux, anyway. Uh, so it's called Kazam Screencaster, as you can see here. I made a screenshot because I, I, I don't think I can show you. No. Um, so, actually, let me try to open it. Let's see if it will open. Um, there you go, you went. So, this is it. It's a very simple tool. There's no advanced options. So, you got your video source, which is my screen. I only got one screen. So, if you have two, you will show up. Then, you got your audio sources. So, that's going to show all the mics, all the inputs, outputs. Um, I'm using built in audio analog stereo. And uh, for encoder type, I'm using H264 and MP4 formats. So, you got a little countdown timer, so when you start recording, basically, you got a little table on the screen that says 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start. So, you know when you start talking. Then, you got your frame rates. Now, I recommend 24 frames, because it's pretty standard video format. But I'm recording at 30 frames, since it makes a little bit smoother videos. And because the file sizes are so small, it's not a problem. Um, then, the other option you got is record region. So you can record a little small area of the screen if you don't wanna record the whole screen if you got something to hide or you wanna show something specific. So yeah, it's that simple. Um I wanna escape and I'm gonna show you how to get it. So if you click start and go to your software manager, um all the Linux systems come with some sort of a software manager. Uh Ubuntu comes with software center. Linux Mint comes with Software Manager, which is the same thing, just a little bit different. Um, so, there you go, that loaded. So, in the search box, all we're going to do is type Kazam, which is a weird name, but I guess that's what they decided to call it. So, there you go, easy to use application. And as you can see, there's no reviews, which is weird because it's really good for what it does. So, just click install and put your password in, and it will sort everything out. And um, I'm trying to figure out where this is saved under. There you go, it's under sound and video. So when you install it, if you go to your menu, click sound and video, it's gonna be here. Because I'm screencaster. So if you wanna make videos, and I please encourage people to make more Linux videos because there isn't many out there, um, please download it, have a go, try. Uh, as I said, it's really good. So hope you liked it hope you liked the video please comment rate subscribe thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one